In Nigeria, there is still no word on the whereabouts of twin sisters who were kidnapped by gunmen over the weekend. The incident happened in the northwestern state of Zamfara. The girls were to get married days before their abduction. The kidnappers have been demanding about $400,000 in ransom. Let's go to Abuja for the latest on this. Phil Haza is live from there. Phil, what's the latest on this kidnapping case? Oh, thank you. It's uh, a bit worrying. Another uh, insecurity challenge again news. Uh, this time, I mean, it's a bit disturbing because we're talking about a set of twins here, uh, girls, uh, young ladies uh, in their 18 uh, years of age. They were actually preparing to get married uh, very soon and they, uh, you know, happened to visit the state, the northwestern state of Zamfara, actually a local <coughs> government area uh, or, uh, you know, village known as Dauran. Uh, these ladies, Husseina and Hassana Daran, uh, you know, were kidnapped among seven other people in that area, and then also um, eight other people in different other parts of the state, making 15 in all since uh, the weekend. Now, uh, no news, no information has been heard so far about their whereabouts, but uh, according to a chieftain in the area, Abubakar Mohammed, he says that you know, uh, contact has been made between the family and the kidnappers, you know, uh, as you said in that report, yes, confirming the fact that they are requesting for huge sums of money, nearly $400,000. That's ranging, I mean, over a uh, hundred million naira in Nigeria. And I mean, the, the family have, uh, you know, made contact with the Nigerian government, uh, well-meaning Nigerians, the entire population to help to see how that they can wade into uh, this issue. And Phil, this is perhaps a pointer to a warring state of security in Nigeria. What's the government doing to enhance public safety? Well, uh, it's really a very sad, uh, very sad moment. I mean, the sad developments emanating in different parts of the state, not just in uh, Zamfara State, where over uh, 400 people have been killed so far only in this year, uh, from killings, kidnappings, and all of that. I mean, we just uh, also, uh, you know, are still trying to manage the news uh, in Kaduna State, also in, in the northern part of Nigeria, where nearly 60 people or more were killed from communal clashes. Uh, we also got, the, the in that process, one monarch was kidnapped, uh, you know, over the weekend and we just got the news that he's been killed in spite of the ransom that was paid uh, you know different I mean we're still dealing with uh, the Boko Haram insurgency there's the headsmen and farmers clashes which has claimed you know lots of lives and properties uh, yes the Nigerian government is saying that they're doing a lot to curtail and restore normalcy um, uh, with the intervention of special forces uh, imposing and reimposing curfew in some of those flashpoint areas but you know speaking to some security analysts at this uh, period where there's a lot of insecurity concerns, they are saying that the Nigerian government may need to, you know, uh, have some more proactive approaches to tackling the insecurity, not just respond to them when they occur. I mean, talking about the fact that unemployment has to be uh, taken seriously, the issue of unemployment, uh, poverty, I mean, the economic situation has to improve. Uh, there has to also be some form of investigations to try to, you know, uh, um, um, uh, you know, find out when these um, insecurity issues or challenges will occur before they even respond. Also try to preach peace among the religious and ethnic groups to uh, try to prevent these issues. So a lot of uh, things are really uh, in the focus now in terms of insecurity, even especially as the country prepares for the general elections in a few months. All right, Phil, thank you very much for that update. Philly has a live there in Abuja.